students in last class i taught you about the first and second generation of computers in this class i will teach you about third fourth and fifth generation of computers see children third generation computers time period was 1964 to 71 transistors were replaced by integrated circuit known as chip means instead of transistor which was used in the second generation of computer more smaller circuit called chip was introduced This made the computer smaller, more powerful, reliable and can run several programming simultaneously. See, the chip made the computer to run more than one programs at a time and to give more than one output. It made the computer reliable means you can use the computer for the longer period of time. It doesn't get heated. High level languages were used in this uh, computer children in this type of third generation computers high level languages means those languages which we use in the daily life that is english language now we can type in english in the computer we can get the output in the language which we understand so that we will be able to recognize whether the output is correct or wrong so this was the feature of third generation of computer children example ibm 363 series honeywell 300 series so these were the features of third generation of computers see children the picture of third generation of computers you can see the picture has become very very small in comparison to the second generation of computers now it can be even used in the middle just you can see the picture of the microchip that is given here children next coming to the fourth generation of computer in your book it is mentioned nine mention 1972 onwards somewhere you will get it from 1972 to 1980 also time periods always vary so you don't have to bother about that microprocessor was used in this generation even more smaller than chip the term was used microprocessor was used in this generation micro computers and personal computers were developed at this generation micro computers and personal computers that we use at home were developed a microsoft disk operating system was also launched in 1980 in this generation of computers in 81 ibm produced personal computers for home and offices now computers can be used in home as well as in the office also children window operating system was used in 1990 in macintosh computers developed by apple apple developed macintosh which we use which used window operating system now window operating system is used in every house in every computers even we are working on the window operating system now i am giving you the video that is also working on the window operating system I have prepared the slides high level languages were used in third generation also in fourth generation also the language which we speak write understand that is what we call high level languages now it is used in computers example ibm pc laptops mac notebooks now children just you can see the picture of the fourth generation of computer just you can see the left side it is laptop in the middle it is microprocessor and the right side it is desktop how small the computer has become that's why it is available in each and every houses further the price gradually decreased in first generation the price was very high second generation it became somewhat low third generation more low computer size became smaller fourth generation the price became even so less that now we can use these computers even at the home now coming to the fifth generation of computer in fifth generation computer artificial intelligence was used artificial intelligence means the brain developed in the laboratory means can now computer can think now computer can understand now computer can counter your question by itself now if you are telling computer to make the tea computer will sell itself okay i am making the tea just you can see in the foreign countries robots using artificial intelligence it has been given the command okay go and make the tea robots will make the tea and bring it to you how because artificial brain is implanted in them so when artificial brain that is made in the laboratories are implanted in the computers that is what we call artificial intelligence computers are developed which could think and respond like human beings that what i said about artificial intelligence now computers will be able to think able to respond just like what human beings think example robots robots are using artificial intelligence and doing great work nowadays in the world children even many factories are using robots germany is one of the example coming to fifth generation of computers you know just you can see the left side it is 
laptop it is mentioned then one notebook types it is there in the right side corner you see that is most important this is artificial intelligence on the on the uh, very right most side it is showing about the human brain and in the left most side you can see children left most side you can see the first one part of brain is divided into two part one part the which is at the right most is showing the human brain and in the left most it is the artificial brain this is being implanted in the computers coming to the uh, assignments right shortness on third and fourth generation of computers give one feature of fifth generation of computers and learn from the table about third fourth and fifth generation of the computer children see first question and second question you can also refer the table that is given in your book about the generation of computers please learn that table in the book in this chapter which is very very important you can write the answers from that table also and from the notes also that is given in the video and you have to learn by heart it also now children i am thanking you hope so you all are fine maintaining the rule of social distances wearing the mask and going outside children thank you